Well, I mean, first off, um, you know, we had a lot of concern about the markets over the last two weeks. I was here on Friday, the day that the markets started to plummet. A lot of recession fear. I came down from the mountain and said, no, no, I don't think we have a recession coming, <laughs> okay. which is looking to be right. And it, look, if you look at the economic data, it's actually accelerating. So if you look at economic growth, which projected for this quarter, it's going to be 2.9 percent. It was 1.4 percent the first quarter, so that's accelerating. Mm -hmm. Profit cycle is accelerating. We beat estimates so far this quarter, 80 percent, 90 percent of companies. Um, that's going to continue. And the crazy part is, last week you had a lot of people panic out of the market. They didn't take, they didn't heed my my warnings. Don't get out of the market. You had 50 billion go to cash. You're sitting on 6.19 trillion dollars now in money market funds. Now we know the Fed most likely is going to start cutting rates come September. And probably 200 basis points or 2% worth of cuts over the next year. That means your 5% money market funds probably going to 3%. Where is that money going to go? And again, you've got accelerating profits in the stock market. This has been my thesis all along. At some point, this money is going to come funneling back into the stock market and probably push it up to melt up levels. You might have ups and downs, but this, the, the thing is straight up at some point. Exactly. Markets tend to overshoot on the downside and the upside, yeah. and I think it's lining up for that at some point. Okay, here. where's the best place to invest? Well, look, I, tech, obviously, I think is overvalued. I've said that. and got hit the hardest when markets sold off. I still think it has legs, but I think as a longer-term investor, to avoid any sort of melt-up, meltdown, you want to invest every, everywhere else. I mean, if you look at, like, real estate right now, it's starting to look pretty good. You get about a 5% dividend on most REITs. Uh, a lot of the bad news is priced in there. Uh, financials. If rates start to get cut, they're going to make a lot more money in those net interest margins. So I put money there, small caps, which are tethered to the economy. They borrow a lot more. So if rates come down, that's going to be great for them. If the economy is accelerating, like I said, right. great for small caps. So really start to diversify your money further out of that nightcap seven, like I've been preaching for a long time. Everything but big tech. Amen. Got it. You're on videotape saying this. Let's do it. We'll talk again. <laughs> yes, we shall. Thank you.